Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, I do have a Leo and Virgo-only channel. If you would like to check those out, the links are in the description box below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when the winner are announced and you know um uh, well blah <laughs> words gina um i give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below um winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page i totally lost my frame of thought right there readings can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation um, if it doesn't resonate, it's okay. When leaving comments, please be kind to anyone that is going through a difficult time at this point in time. I do not take personal readings, so any phone numbers that you see listed in the comments section is not me. And um, if anyone reaches out to you, it's not me. If you need a reading, you can visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is in the description box below. Guys, let me know if you like, some people like the pink curtain better or the burgundy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like the pink if not i'll change it back to pink i don't know you guys let me know all right anyways moving on spirit tell me about cancer please in love what messages do we have here today for cancer in love please tell me about cancer in love okay we got the devil and the ace of wands tell me about cancer in love please cancer in love Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Cancer, you could we could be dealing with a Capricorn here, possibly. Okay. I feel like Cancer, this is somebody that walked away from you at one point in time. Okay. Here's what's interesting about readings. I'm a cancer and you know how they've been saying that people are coming back or whatever. You have to keep in mind, guys, that sometimes these readings are not about the person that you are, that's, that's on your mind at that point in time. I had somebody hit me up. This is somebody that I dated when I was 20 years old. I'm 41. Don't tell anybody that. Okay, don't tell anybody that. But you know, like I had someone hit me up that from 20 years ago and I was like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Cancer, please keep in mind that when, when you know, sometimes when readers say, you know, someone is coming back around, it may not be the person that you just broke up with last week. Please keep that in mind, okay? I just wanna put that out there. Um, but Cancer, with the Eight of Cups here, this is somebody that walked away from you. And then with the Ace of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles, this person's realized that you got money and you look good okay this could be with the three of swords and the queen of wands here this could be somebody that betrayed you for a third party or left you for a third party um or cancer it could be that you are more i'm, I'm picking this up very strongly with that queen of pentacles and that ten of pentacles you either are making very good money now you're more stable now even if you don't make a lot of money but you have your own apartment your own car or maybe you're able to go on vacation or something i don't know you look expensive cancer let me put it to you that way okay you're looking expensive all right um they see that i don't know they're seeing your grow uh, glow up they they're seeing that you've grown um I, I do feel with the devil here this is a very you know sexually attracted or obsessive energy um you know with that ace of wands it, it, it's very sexual okay so this is somebody that is extremely sexually attracted and on top of it with the eight of wands and the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles this person likes the way you talk you seem very intelligent money oriented stable thinking about your 10-year plan okay but they only came to realize this with the ace of swords once you walked away like this person left and then with that ace of swords energy it's like they looked you up or they they hit you up and said hey cancer what's up and they're realizing that you're doing very well for yourself okay so this is both a physical attraction and they are attracted to your stability right now tell me about this devil card and the nine of cups and there's that emotional fulfillment, the star and the ace of wands, damn cancer. This person is all eyes on you right now. 
The Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. I, I don't know if, I think that this person walked away from you, Cancer, and they hurt you when they did. I mean, you could have walked away from this person. I don't know, but I'm feeling more so that they walked away from you. And look, we've got the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. It could be cancer that when this person walked away from you, you, you know, you started going to school for something or you started focusing on your business or becoming more independent. I'm getting a very strong vibe and energy here of, I'm sorry, guys, the 10 of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. This is somebody that has their shit together. Okay. Uh, you know, it's somebody that has, I, I don't care if you've got a studio apartment and a little broken down Toyota Corolla outside, you're paying your bills, you have it together, you got some food in the fridge, you're maintaining your own independence, you got it together. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so you could have a lot of money or not so much money, but the point is, is that you have it together. You've got more than what you had before, or you've got more than this person does. And not only that, but you may have done something to your physical appearance that this person is blown away by okay so let's see here tell me about cancer we've got the ten of wands and the three of cups they really want to talk to you they really want to reconcile or they really want to reunite with you cancer this person wants to see you look at this the six of cups and the five of swords this is somebody though that in the past cancer they created a lot of drama this is somebody that wanted to constantly, um, you know, win at all costs, basically. And what I mean by that is even if they had to hit below the belt, even if they had to get really nasty or say really mean things or go overboard with shoving stuff in your face, they did it just to get the last word and just to get the last laugh. Okay. Tell me about this 10 of wands for cancer with the seven of wands. This person's afraid you're not going to talk to them, you're not going to respond to them, or you're not going to speak to them. Tell me about the Three of Cups here and the Nine of Swords, but they really want it. They really, really want it, Cancer. Six of Cups and the Three of Swords, they know in the past they hurt you a lot. This is someone that hurts you a lot. Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords, Cancer. They walked away from you. They gave up on you. Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, they're regretting it now. Four, five, and then Eight of Cups under the deck. They're regretting it now because they rejected you before and now you are probably going to reject them because they are not good enough for you. Well, they probably weren't good enough for you back then. Do you see what I'm saying? But this is kind of like an energy if, you know, if you don't love me when I'm not at my best, then don't, you know what I'm saying? If you can't love me at my worst, then don't come towards me at my best. That's the vibe that I'm picking up here on this reading, Cancer. Like when you were at your worst here, this person kind of left you for dead and you ended up getting on your feet and, you know, turning that pain into power, gaining your strength and you created, you know, a, your own little empire. You know what I'm saying here? Um, and now this person is seeing that and they're like, man, I want what Cancer has. You know, I want to be a part of Cancer's life. It looks fun over there. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Page of Cups and the Justice card. <sighs> Well, Cancer, I mean, there's definitely an offer coming in here. There's definitely an apology. Somebody wants to go meet up for coffee or something along those lines. There's definitely an apology taking place here. Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Five of Pentacles. This person quite possibly wants to talk about why they ghosted you, why they disappeared, why they manipulated you, why they shut you out. What is this Two of Swords, please, for Cancer? I feel like you haven't spoken to this person since this happened. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They chose, they chose someone else over you, Cancer. That's what this person did. They chose someone else over you. After you broke up in this connection, they decided to go be with someone else instead of coming forward and making the connection with you work. And now with the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords, they wish they would have chosen differently because they could have been an Emperor here with you. 
the three of pentacles and the four of wands cancer this is somebody that has it stuck in their head that they want to marry you that they want long term with you they're realizing that you were their life partner not this person that they went towards tell me about this page of cups please for cancer tell me about this page of cups we've got the six of wands and the page of cups The Justice card, the Lover's card, and the Nine of Pentacles. Cancer, this person wants your attention. They may come in with a cute joke or, hey, what's up, you know, but they want your attention. With the Justice card, the Lover's card, and the Nine of Pentacles, that Lover's card can talk about a strong soul tie connection, but it talks about Adam, even the snake. It talks about needing to make a decision. Are we going to give in to that temptation or, or not? And Cancer, I feel like this person's paying their karma. Like karma is finally hitting. And Cancer, again, please take into consideration what I said, that this could be something, you know, that you experienced 10, 20 years ago. I don't know. Should, this could even be your parents for some of you, okay? It could even be your parents for some of you that they mistreated you at a as a child. And now you're coming up and, you know, maybe you're rich or you succeeded business wise and they treated you like crap your whole life and now they want to come back and be your friend but you ain't my friend <laughs> you know what I'm saying you're not my friend you know there's a song called lonely there's a song called lonely um let me see if I can look up who uh makes it hold on it's really like I'm hearing it in my head right now um Course I'm not going to find it. Uh, speaker knockers. There's a song called lonely from speaker knockers. Listen to it. Okay. But it's basically like, you know, this is basically an energy of somebody decided to choose a different direction, possibly because at that point in time, you know, you just didn't have much. Maybe you were sick or maybe you were going through college or maybe you were going through a difficult time in your life or, you know, whatever it was, they chose something that they wanted, something else that they wanted. Now them making that decision brought you to to a nine of pentacles energy do you see what i'm saying like like let's just say for instance cancer if you were going to school and this person was buying everything right they got sick and tired of supporting you and tossed you out but now you graduated school and you're making a shit ton of money right you know let's just say you were really stressed out and tired and all that other stuff because you were studying a lot trying to succeed in school and they got sick and tired of your attitude sick and tired of taking care of you and tossed you out right they tossed you out and now you graduate at school sacrifice is over you're living it up here and now they're like oh I want to come back that's just one example okay let's just one example or maybe you had an illness or maybe I don't know I don't know there can be like a thousand different things cancer but it's like now they're paying their karma because now you're at pre empress energy here you're at pre you know and we got an emperor now they're saying oh this is perfect this is exactly what I wanted but if you can't stand by my side look see the hanged man and the nine of wands you didn't sacrifice with me that hanged man talks about suffering and sacrificing and being that ride or die energy that goes through those hard times right just to to gain that enlightenment just to gain that you know have that joy together and with the nine of wands you know I suffered and did that all by myself in the traditional rider weight the nine of wands there's only one person that's exhausted there and cancer that was you this person wants to reap the benefit of all of your hard work cancer that's what this person's out to do Six of Swords, they're seeing that things are getting better in your life and they're like oh you know two of cups we could be together now Let's talk. Let, let's let's talk, Cancer. Let's do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're like, well, where have you been? You know? So Cancer, you know what? I mean, this is you having put a lot of time and energy into fixing and healing your life. Okay? Another thing I'm picking up on here. This could be a husband and wife that has children. And when you guys were together, you were going through financial difficulties. The connection broke up. Maybe you guys got divorced. And now we've got one person here that is doing extremely well financially. Cancer. Okay, let's just say you're... A, single parent with children and you found something to work from home, opened your own business or whatever. And now that you're doing good, guess who wants to come back and knock on your door and be like, but look, finances are great now. Think about how great things can be. Yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean, yeah, they'll be great now, but what if something bad happens tomorrow? You know, the, those wedding vows guys are in sickness and health and poor or whatever, you know, 
for richer or for poorer or whatever, you know? And when you're dating somebody, those are the questions that, you, that there's a reason why those are wedding vows cancer. Those are the questions that you need to ask yourself when you're dating somebody, not how good they look, how they pop it in the bedroom. Do they buy me dinner? You know, the, the real question is, if I get sick, will they be there? If I go broke tomorrow, will they be there? Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, these are the real questions and we're dealing with somebody here that was not. They did not, did not stand by your side in sickness. They did not stand your, by your side for richer or for poor. They didn't stand by your side. But now they want to reap all the benefits of your hard work. What else do we have here for Cancer? The King of Pentacles and the Death card. Now this person's willing to change and commit to the situation. And we saw the King to the Queen of Pentacles and we saw the Empress to the Empress here. This could be a strong soul tie energy. It could be. It could be Twin Flame. But with the King of Swords and the Empress Cancer, right now you're in an energy of, you know, wanting to defend your abundance. You're not really uh, the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups um, and the Five of Cups. You always knew that this day would come where this person would come back around and cry. You knew that day would come. Do we see reconciliation here? You knew that day would come. The Hermit. Cancer, I feel like the Hermit and the Four of Swords. Let me tell you what you're going to do. And there's the Queen of Pentacles right there, okay, um, to the King of Pentacles. I feel like when these messages come in, you're going to go mosey on to your cabinet, grab yourself some white cheddar popcorn, some Cheez-Its, some pretzels, some taquitos, whatever the hell you got going on, a glass of wine. You're going to sit on your couch. You're going to watch some TV, and you're just going to watch all those messages rolling in, just bored as hell, just looking at it like, oh, really? <laughs> Oh, really? You know, I don't think that you're going to respond to this because this person was not there for you when you needed them. If anything, they made life harder for you because they chose. I mean, imagine I'm just going to give you a scenario here. OK, a couple of scenarios. You're you're you you are with your person. You have a child together. There's financial issues. There's hard times at play, sickness, whatever the case may be, the mother or the other either or decides to dip off and go be with a third party that's more fun and easier and entertaining and whatever else. And now that you overcame a tremendous amount of trials and tribulations, you're doing well in life and they want to come back around. I don't think so. You know, let's just say you were struggling trying to go to school, you know, and, and you were tired and testy and, and, and exhausted and, and really focused and doing everything that you could. Money was tight, you know, all that other good stuff. And this person dipped off to go towards somebody that just wanted to party all day and all night. And now, you know, you graduated, that money is rolling in, all your sacrifices are paying off and now they're coming back around chicken nugget no yeah okay that's entertaining yeah glass of wine sure you know you're just sitting there chilling you're chilling i do not see you really responding to this person whatsoever and you knew you knew that the day would come where this person would be back okay all right let's see all 12 signs here for cancer tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus tell me about cancer please Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer, please. And again, guys, this can also apply. I just want to make it clear. It could apply to your parents also, cancer. This could be your parents that treated you like crap their whole life. And now, you know, they tossed you out to the, to the wolves and you came back leading the pack. And now, you know, you're doing really well in life. And now they can't afford their house. Now they can't afford their medications. They can't afford to live. And they want to knock on your door and tell you to come in. And can I live with you? I don't know, you know, I don't know, okay? Um, we got the four of wands here. I, I'm getting stability here, Cancer. Some of you may be buying a house or whatever, but you're very stable and rooted in your life. Very stable and rooted in your life. And this could be one or multiple people that are very disappointed because they don't have anything that you have. Okay, Cancer and all 12 signs. Cancer and all 12 signs in love. Cancer and all 12 signs in love if we're dealing with an aries three of cups the judgment card and the page of pentacles you guys are getting back together there's going to be an apology here you guys are getting back together if we're dealing with a taurus the star the wheel of fortune and the hierophant this person is trying to marry you this is a divine soulmate they're not going anywhere you're not getting rid of this person that's it you know what i'm saying just start looking for wedding halls now if we're dealing with a gemini 
Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody that has more love for you than you even know. I feel like this person might be proposing marriage or buying you a very expensive gift. This person also wants long-term commitment with you. If we're dealing with another Cancer, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. This person keeps trying to leave you, but they keep rushing back. It's like, you know, that little hermit meme where he leaves and then comes right back like that. That's what that looks like. If we're dealing with a Leo, two of swords, the two of pentacles and the lover's card, there's no communication here between you and the Leo. There's a stalemate happening and somebody is starting to wonder if their person has moved on and found somebody else. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the eight of pentacles, the four of wands and the four of pentacles, this person doesn't want to lose you and they're willing to do anything to have long term stability with you. This person may even you guys may even be getting engaged or moving in together. If we're dealing with a Libra, Page of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands, this person is trying to hit you up on every social media platform available to them, and you block them on every single one. This, you got this person on Cash App sending you a dollar, call me. You know, you got them on Venmo. I said, call me. <laughs> you know, this person is every, they're, they're checking every avenue they can to get your attention. <clears throat> if we're dealing with a Scorpio, the World card, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of cups. I feel like you guys are ma making peace with the Scorpio guys. I feel like whatever problems you've had with the Scorpio, it's over. It's in the past. Water under the bridge. You guys are not going to revisit that situation. There's nothing but love and good times from this point forward. If we're dealing with a Sag, the Hermit, Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that's trying to think about how to come back and apologize to you. They don't know what to say. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, Nine of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is someone who feels guilty because they know they're being very selfish. They know they're being very selfish. They say and, and do things. They, they say whatever you want to hear, but it's an illusion because at the end of the day, they only do what's best for them. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person's looking for an F buddy. They're looking for a side piece. They're looking for friends with benefits. And they're very disappointed because you're saying no. If we're dealing with a Pisces, Nine of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is somebody that kind of lives in the ego and they don't like that you're so self-sufficient. Okay, you're very independent, you handle your own, and I feel like this person isn't super thrilled about it. It makes them nervous that you're so independent. Okay, I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.